Yoshi, you all know and love him, and if you don't, I'll beat the shit out of you. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm here to explain who Yoshi is, if you somehow don't already know. <laughs> Anyways, as you may know by now, Yoshi made his debut in Super Mario World on the SNES, released in 1990. Meaning that yes, Yoshi can get absolutely wasted, if you want to know that, for some reason. Alright, alright. Now, here's a little fun fact. Yoshi was meant to be in the first Super Mario Bros. game, where he looked interesting, to say the least. But he was scrapped because apparently it couldn't fit into the cartridge or something. So the ROM hackers win again. <laughs> <clears throat> but when development for uh, the Super Nintendo started, Nintendo saw the opportunity to put Yoshi in a game. And that, after a long development cycle of course, <laughs> takes us back to Super Mario World, which was an absolute success commercially and critically. Now, I feel like a small part of the success had to come from Yoshi, who was right on the box art, through him being a very marketable character, which we'll get into a little bit later. Now, the success of Super Mario World resulted in a prequel with big-ass air quotes, because this is more so the start of a spin-off series, and it was most likely given the Super Mario World 2 subtitle to sell more copies, and it probably worked. In 1997, when the N64 was having games released for it, or I guess when it was live, would be better to say. A sequel to Yoshi's Island came out on the N64, titled Yoshi's Story. The Yoshi series has had many other titles, and one of the most well-liked and most popular games in the Yoshi series is Yoshi's Boy World, which was released on the Wii U. Yoshi has become an incredibly popular character for obvious reasons. This spawned him appearing in many future Mario games, Super Smash Bros, Mario Kart, and even a Zelda game, as, as a marketable plushie, yes, but still. <clears throat> He's even garnered a pretty big fan base, appearing in a bunch of fan games and fan projects, with a subreddit that's decently big, with about 7,000 members, and a, and a small but decently active Discord server with a little more than 400 members. Yoshi has also had plenty of merchandise, appearing on posters and books, as well as many toys, like action figures and plushies, of which I have a, a few, but that's besides the point. Now, you may be wondering, why do I like Yoshi so much? Probably because I think he's cute. <laughs> a anyways, a Yoshi's Island beta build was leaked back in July 2020, a part of the Nintendo Giga Leak, as it's been called. Using many Super Mario World sound effects and music as placeholders. There's also a minigame where you blow up a village. I don't know why that was scrapped, though. There's clearly no reason why that was scrapped. <coughs> Drawing out for too long. And in Super Mario Bros. Wonder, Yoshi is playable, but only as baby mode. Sad Yoshi hours. And, uh, there's a fish of Yoshi with his dogs out if you wanted to know that. He also appeared in Game Watch Gallery 3, because I'm sure everyone cares about that. <clears throat> and while we're on the topic of Game & Watches, some Yoshis appear on the watch part of the Super Mario Bros. Game & Watch. So, anyways, that's Yoshi. Obviously, there's so much more, but that's all I'm really gonna talk about today, you know? Because... Time limit, you know? There's no, there's no time limit. I could be here as long as I want, but this intro is getting really drawn out, but anyways, subscribe.